What's up friends, welcome back to my channel. So it's been a hot minute since I've done this sort of vlog style video and I figured it was long overdue. Um, and in this video specifically, I wanted to take you through a little apartment tour of where I've been living for the past like five or six months actually. Um, so that's also a bit overdue. So it's not really a new apartment tour, but it's my current apartment tour. If you recall the video that I put out back in like October. I was living in a building called Circa. I'm still here, but I've just moved up to a new unit, one of the penthouse units. I figured I would just show you guys around and invite you into my home. Let's do it. Okay, welcome home. So, starting off with my new apartment tour. I'm gonna start off with my favorite part of the apartment, or one of my favorite parts my keyboard. This is where I spend a lot of my time just writing music. As I've told you guys before in previous videos, I really consider music to be, and piano to be a form of therapy for me, so if you're wondering where I'm at, you can probably find me here. Okay, now continuing on, this is another one of my favorite parts of this unit. I think you guys may have seen it in another video of mine, it's called the Tonal a Home Workout. It's like a home gym, basically. Um, it feels sort of like I have a personal trainer, a digital trainer, right in my home every single day. Uh, so I use that guy a lot. And then scanning over to the dining room table. Mm. The thing that I actually probably most love about this unit, honestly, is how bright it is. So you have the floor to ceiling windows. It's such a nice touch. And you can see how high these vaulted ceilings are. Like they're incredibly, incredibly high. I always thought this was kind of cool for some reason. There are all sorts of different like lighting settings for when you first come into the apartment. So a lot of you guys have probably seen me film other YouTube videos from right here on this couch. I hang out here a lot. I actually don't really watch that much TV to be totally honest with you, but um, if I were to watch TV, the show that I would watch would be The Handmaid's Tale. I've gotten really sucked into that on Netflix recently. So now, I'm gonna take you guys to the kitchen. Here you have my YouTube plaque, which I still have yet to hang up. I really don't know what to do with it. Whoa, that's us. So this is actually one of my favorite pieces in the whole apartment. I don't know what it is, but like this light fixture is just so cool to me. It feels like some abstract piece of origami that's just floating just above the kitchen. So one of the best things about this apartment is how clean and how white and how bright it is, right? So you see all these clean lines, every, all the cabinets are white. Um, you have this beautiful marble backsplash and countertop. It's just very well made. So. I'm very pleased with that. Now, I'm not a coffee guy. For those of you who are, this is the Miele coffee machine. Um, apparently, it's really expensive and very, very nice. I'm not that fancy, though. You have the oven. You have another fancy wine cellar, <laughs> which is another thing that I don't use enough. The microwave. Um, I'll show you guys what I have in my cabinet in case you'd like to see the food that I have. So it's pretty barren to be totally honest, but I have my granola, my pistachios for my morning yogurt. I have almond butter, which is a healthier alternative to peanut butter. Um, and then some kashi cereal for a late night snack. Let's see what we got in this one. Some oatmeal, some GNC protein, and then some gluten-free brown rice, quinoa, and cauliflower pasta. Just like in my last unit, we have a gas-operated stove, which is definitely my preference. It's a lot easier to cook my eggs that way for some reason. The Miele dishwasher, um, it works very, very well for my messy self. <laughs> okay, my fridge is pretty barren, but I'll give you guys a peek into what I have right now. <laughs> so it's pretty boring. Da -da -da. That's my fridge. Where to next? Let's go to the guest bedroom. All right, the guest bedroom, come on in. One of the things I did want to call out is that you see all the hardwood floors, which again, you know, it just adds to a, a very homey vibe. It's less sterile than like, let's say, tile or something like that. So much appreciated. Closet with two very comfy, cozy robes just for you waiting. And a connected Jack and Jill style bathroom with marble flooring and um, a really beautiful, if you ask me, um, backsplash in the shower. And now I'm gonna take you guys outside. This is one of my favorite parts of the whole apartment. The balcony, let's go. Okay. Okay, we made it outside. We're high, high up in Circa, in the building. From here, down below, you can see the two pools, the lounge pool and the lap pool, as well as the gym, which is finally now open again. Has a really cool overlook of the Staples Center, which is uh, pretty iconic if you ask me. And then often, the distance over that way is the ocean. Now for the big reveal. 
the master bedroom. So again, you have the floor to ceiling windows. Apologies, my bed is not expertly made. I'm not very good at that. Usually where I get ready uh, with this mirror right here, you know, the light is obviously very good because I'm right by the windows. Um, you know, I'm just kind of checking out different outfits. Right now I'm wearing Gymshark, one of my favorite brands. And then my closet, I'll give you guys a quick peek at what I have. It is also quite barren because I'm only, I was only planning on being here for a few months. And then we have the master bathroom. It's very elegant, it's very clean. So I think my building did a really nice job, especially with the bathroom, just because marble is such a nice finishing touch. Like everything just feels so clean and fresh and bright, which is one of my favorite parts. I mean, not that I spend my days in the bathroom, but the time that I do spend in here is spent very comfortably. <laughs> Okay, and while I'm in the bathroom, I have to give a really quick shout out to today's video sponsor, Cremo. You guys have seen them before on either my YouTube or my Instagram, but a long time fan of the brand. They've been keeping my hair looking nice, I think, <laughs> for the past year almost. Whether it was short hair, long hair, dyed hair, you name it. They really have every single product out there for every hair type. Mine happens to be very, very straight, very painfully straight. I personally really love the sea salt texture for a little bit of added grit, as well as the thickening cream, because my hair also happens to be a bit fine. But they're all barber gray. And more than anything, they always give my hair a nice texture and malleability without making it look like I have a bunch of gunky product in there. So, huge fan. You check them out down below. And let's continue right on with the tour. Okay guys, well that was probably very short and sweet by the time this is all edited and condensed down. But I hope that you guys got a feel for where I've been living for the past few months. I think I'm only here for a short while longer, so I'm really gonna savor it while it lasts because obviously it's a beautiful apartment. I thank you so much for stopping by, but it's time for you to get out of here. Or what do they say in cribs? But like, it's time for you to leave me alone, I forget. Um, but anyways, I hope you liked this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We'll continue growing the community together. Uh, comment down below, what was your favorite part of the unit? Would you like to live here? Was that something that's interesting to you? You can share it with anyone who you think might find it interesting. Uh, with that, I'm gonna check out the day. I love you all. Ciao, nos vemos.